welcome and uh, in this episode we will uh, decorate of our presentation which uh, we have already uh, created in our uh, last uh, episode so first of all i will uh, change uh, the current theme now this time i will use a uh, bodilla theme so just write here bodilla so sec header uh, option is uh, useful to print all sections in our uh, navigation bar now go to compile also we can compress our uh, navigation bar with the help of compress uh, option so just write here so this option will compress all navigation bar as, as much as possible now in this theme uh, here in the navigation bar uh, author name uh, title name date and slide numbers are coming here uh, we can uh, add sidebar in the left and right side so for that right here set beamer size and in the curly bracket right sidebar so sidebar width of the left so I will take 2mm and uh, sidebar right 2mm again go to compile yeah you can also change the color of your theme just uh, go to the option and here right so default color is blue if I write red so color has been changed here and also I will put uh, my title and uh, author name in the box fancy box so for that uh, i'll have to use uh, one title the name is uh, fancy box and uh, after that go to your title just write here shadow box just compile your file yeah it's coming but in a navigation bar title name is not coming so we'll have to put it in a square bracket Yeah, now it's coming here. Also, you can change the color of these uh, fancy box. So for that, I'll have I'll use here one uh, new command. This is set beamer color, and I'll use color box, and then I'll use color. Uh, here it should be uh, use beamer color. Also, I'll change my alerted color. So here I write uh, set beamer color. And in a second color bracket, we write color. So BG, BG for background color. I want to put uh, red and FG, FG for uh, foreground color. After that, this command I use at this place inside a curly bracket. And for a title, I will also use CA color. It's uh, not looking good. Actually, I put background white. So let's write here white. Yeah, I also want to put my mail ID after my name, so here I write. Also, I want to give link for my mail ID, so here I write href. Just before mail ID, write mail to. So here we need to add one more curly bracket. So first curly bracket is used to for the link, and the second curly bracket will print our mail ID. Size we can reduce here, so I'll write here the script size. Yeah, I also want to put my frame title in a color background, so uh, in a preamble, I'll write here set beamer color in a first calibrated, write frame title, and in a second calibrated, I'll write my background color name. Now compile. Yeah, we can also change the vertical space between the frame title and navigation bar. So in a first curly bracket, write frame title, and in a second curly bracket, just write V space. Now we will change our uh, background. So here, so just write here Beamer template uh, solid background color. I will put a gray color. Let us check. We can reduce intensity of the color. So just write here 20. So color will be 20% gray. Yeah. We can also use mixed color. So 
so in a white calibrator i will put one color so suppose i want to put uh, green and in a second calibrator i will put uh, blue let's remove color to go to compile yeah similarly we can reduce the intensity of the color we can also use a grid in the background i put a grid yeah so you can change this step so if i put 50 Uh, it's not looking good, so I'll remove this setting color. Now go to compile. We can also change the width of the navigation parts. So for that, we'll have to create one uh, new command. Okay, so here I have created my new command which uh, name is CS footer. We are looking here uh, footer uh, navigation bar. So for that uh, I have written here foot line. Here uh, we have total three navigation parts. So first, second and third. So this code is for first navigation part. This one is for second navigation part and this one is for third navigation part. So first navigation part is for uh, author. Second one is for uh, title and third one is for uh, date and uh, frame number uh, in the square bracket i have set uh, my uh, width so i have taken 30 percent of the paper width for the author height 8 point and depth uh, 3 point and i have put my author in the center and uh, we can also put uh, image in navigation bar so, so for that i have uh, put one image this one is for uh, title uh, navigation part so I have taken width 40% of paper width and uh, I have put the same height and depth uh, as we have taken for author. After that uh, for the date I have written here 30% uh, of paper width, height and uh, depth I have taken same as we have taken for uh, author and title. We can also print a uh, current frame number rather than showing uh, uh, total frame number. So here uh, we, you will have to remove insert total frame number if you want to print your only current frame number. So I put my new command just before starting the table of contents here. Now compile your file. Yeah. So here uh, you can see name, image and then second uh, uh, navigation part third navigation part, date and uh, slide number. We can also change the uh, background color of all navigation parts. So for that we will have to use set beamer color in the framework. So just right here set beamer color. So first one is for the author in head foot, uh, background color black and foreground color white. Similarly we can write uh, for title. Background color I want to put uh, blue and foreground white. Similarly, we can write for uh, date and uh, background. I want to put gray. Now compile your file. Yeah. Now in the header uh, navigation bar, I want to put my current section name in the left side and all section name in the right side. So for that, I'll have to use a similar command what we have used for uh, put line. Except uh, we'll have to change uh, this put line uh, by headline. So here I'll write uh, my code. Okay, so here I have written my code. And this time my new command is ch header. So this one is for uh, left navigation part in the header, and this one is for uh, right uh, navigation part uh, in the header. So now I will put my new command name ch header just before starting the table of contents. Now compile your file. Yeah. So here you can see that in the left side navigation part current section name is coming and in the right navigation part all sections name are coming. Now I will increase the vertical space between uh, header navigation and uh, frame title uh, background 4. Yeah. Actually this color is not looking so good so I will change this. It's looking good. Now I also want to change background color. So, so just turn on. Now go to compile. Okay, now it's looking much better. 
I'll set my color for title page. So just write here set dimmer color. So in the first color bracket we'll write title and in the second color bracket we'll write ground color blue and foreground color white. Compile your file. Yeah. Here we can also change background canvas color. So for that again we'll use a set dimmer color and in the curly bracket just write background canvas. Intensity I will take uh, 35 percent. Now I will compile the file. Yeah. I want to change my background canvas color uh, for only title page. So I'll just go, uh, cut this and now I put it in a title page uh, frame. Smart working. Now go to compile. Yeah, now it's working. So canvas color is changing in the title page only and other pages are not affecting. Yeah. We can also take print out of our presentation. So here just write handout. I will use one package, PDF pages. So I want to take here uh, four slides in one page. So I write four on one. And also uh, we can uh, shrink our border. So just write border, shrink. Now compile your file. Yeah. So four slides uh, are coming in one page. Thank you for watching.